Hello and welcome here at London Vals 2023. My name is Philip Lurz. I'm here with my colleague and friend, Jörg Hausleiter. We're here to discuss a bit about the Class 2D program. Tell us a bit what, what, what does that entail? Well, the Class 2D program is the first um, randomized head-to-head -head comparison of the Pascal and the Mitral clip system in patients with primary or degenerative mitral regurgitation. And it has two components, the, a randomized component and the registry, um, which we'll also talk about. So maybe I'm going to ask you, Philip, can you tell us a little bit about the, the design of this randomized comparison? Uh, yes, so as you said, the idea was to compare these two devices really head to head. Sometimes we were tempted to compare results of different registries, but we never know whether the same patient cohort was treated. So this is a proper randomized head to head comparison. Pascal versus CLIP, randomized two to one in, as you said, degenerative MR. There's also a program for FMR, but this is specifically for degenerative MR. And the, the, the goal was to show that Pascal is non-inferior to the mitral clip for mitral tear. Then there were, I think, two endpoints. You want to talk a little bit about the study endpoints? So the, the primary endpoint for the non-inferiority with respect to um, effectiveness was assessed at um, six months. But now we here also saw data on the one-year assessment of, um, of the effectiveness outcome, which was mainly the percentage of patients ending up with moderate or less or mild or less MR in the two groups. And to, to make it short, the results are very comparable between the two um, devices and treatment groups. Uh, in both groups, about 77% of patients ended up with mild or less MR. And that was seen early on, but then also well maintained during the study period at one year. Well, this is a very important outcome yes. that we're going to see the durability at one year. But what about the early complications? Can you can we also talk a little bit about what has been seen in the trial? Yeah, it, it confirms what we always see in registries and other studies. Um, T is very safe. T on the mitral valve is very safe. So very few complications and very comparable be between the two devices. It's also a very important outcome. But then the final question perhaps is, about the clinical outcomes at one year in terms of survival, in terms of quality of life? Yeah, I think that was, um, as it should be done, thoroughly assessed. Um, KCCQ, six minute walking test, NYHA class, and positive and significant signals for, for all these outcome measures, which relate to the, to the actual clinical status. This is why we do the procedure, and we see that that reduction MR is also, does also relate in, in, in a much better symptomatic and clinical state. Again, no difference between the groups and also um, a, um, a very good survival rate up to one year in these two cohorts. So we, we said before that those were patients in whom the decision was made that they could be treated either with CLIP or with Pascal, but there was also um, um, a registry. Um, that was for patients um, who were not randomized because the decision was, or the, the, the feeling was that they might not be suitable for, for, for the CLIP. Can you explain what kind of patients were in that registry? Yeah, as you already uh, alluded, alluded to, is that those patients where the uh, mitral clip could not be used as according to the instructions for use, those patients were then allowed to be treated um, with a Pascal device in a single arm registry. Um, and these were about 100 patients who were enrolled who had some more complex disease uh, on the mitral valve. In your daily practice, what patients do you see more often? Registry patients or randomized? Um, more the randomized patients, but uh, we do see more and more also these more complex patients where uh, we're also going to uh, need to treat those patients with such a device. So more extreme anatomy, multi-segment problems, calcifications as well? Calcifications of the leaflets, uh, B-leaflet um, pathologies or multiple jets. These were also the main main inclusion criteria of, um, into this registry arm. So with more complex anatomies, what was the outcome? Well, the outcome first in terms of the early outcome, procedural outcome was that you can treat those patients also very, very effectively, that you get a very good uh, reduction in the MR 
rates, um, that the procedure itself is also very, very safe, very comparable to the randomized um, cohort. Sometimes we think about tear patients and suitability for treatment in colors, uh, green, yellow, red, what, what sort of color patients were in the registry? Well, the registry probably uh, represents the patients in this yellow group, a little bit more complex patients, not the super complex, but the still significantly more complex than the green cohort, which is probably representative of the randomized um, arm. Well, that's important when we interpret these results. So in, in summary, we have uh, two devices which are very safe, which um, allow us to reduce MR to, to mild or less in, in, in um, up to 77% of patients. And then even those where normally everything is a little bit more complex and tear might not always be the best option, we see that more than 60% um, of patients still end up with a good result. Um, so safe and effective devices, both for Pascal and for the clip. Thank you, Jörg. Thank you. Thank you.